we've started to perform on the world stage. Um, we're not just competing with Alabama or Mississippi or Georgia. We're competing with places like Mumbai, India, and Johannesburg, South Africa. And so in order to do that, um, we've got to take the message of Tampa, Florida, and tell the story of Tampa out to the world. In Florida, everyone knows Miami because of Miami Vice, and everyone knows Orlando because of the mouse. They don't know Tampa, Florida. So over the last five years, we have traveled multiple times to Panama uh, to attract Copa Airlines, which gave us a, a direct flight to Central and South America, to Colombia, to Brazil, to Chile, to Israel, to Germany, to Switzerland, to Ireland, um, all to tell Tampa's story and to establish that relationship and to start to build trade and direct foreign investment. We're the largest port in the state of Florida. We're in the midst of a billion dollar expansion at Tampa International Airport to prepare for that international chapter. We're the closest port to the Panama Canal. So trade is a big deal for us. That port, Tampa Bay, employs over 80,000 people, directly or indirectly. So our international presence has expanded significantly. Uh, we have some built-in advantages, particularly with trade to Central and South America. We speak the language largely. We have a history uh, and a Hispanic influence that is part of our DNA. Uh, we were diverse before diversity was cool, and we celebrate that and we honor that. We're not ashamed of it. We don't build walls. You know, we don't demonize people. Uh, we celebrate that diversity, and for us, that is a strength and makes us much more competitive. So I think Miami's always going to have its niche on the international stage, but I think Tampa, as a gateway to the southeast United States, could really be a significant player. And so. And my job and our job is to make sure that, that people are talking about us, not just domestically, but internationally as well.